This is PicoCTF 2025. We are going to solve tap into hash from the reverse engineering category. Can you make sense of the source code and write a function that will decode the given encrypted file content? And we are given an encrypted file that we are going to grab and a source file that appears to be a Python file. We can open this into text editor and we can also open the flag and we are given the key and an encrypted blockchain okay so let's take a look at the, the script try and figure out what it does encrypt okay here is something interesting so this encrypt function because this has encrypted flag and it looks encrypted right and so midpoint first part second part modified part so looks like it is splitting the plain text in the middle it's inserting the inner text in the middle and then it is padding to a multiple of 16 and then it generates a sha256 of the key and then it processes plain text in chunks of 16 bytes by doing a simple XOR with the key hash. Bytes from hex, it prints the key generated from a random string, generates a blockchain, creates some transactions, and where does the token come from? It's passed in the command line. I'm guessing the token is the flag and then we get the blockchain okay so seems pretty straightforward all this uh, stuff about blockchain and whatnot if you saw here this is just to pad the flag so the first half of the blockchain is before the flag and then we have the flag in here and then the second part of the blockchain so we don't really care that much about the blockchain and to decrypt it all we have to do is basically get this encrypted blockchain generate a SHA-256 of the key that we are given XOR the encrypted blockchain and then take the key from the middle that's the plan I'm going to copy some methods from here so we will need XOR bytes and then I'm going to copy the encrypt function and then we're going to modify it slightly. So for SHA-256, uh, we're going to need the hash lib. And so we are not concerned with the plain text or the inner text. So we have the cipher text here, right? The encrypted thing. And we have the key don't care about any of this we don't care about this either we don't need to pad because it's already padded right and so we generate the key hash over here and then this should be ciphertext this should be ciphertext here and then this becomes the plain block after the XOR and then here becomes plain text and plain block and then we return the plain text over here right and now what we need is the encrypted data which we are going to copy from here and we need the key which again we're going to copy from here And now all that remains is to call the decrypt. So we decrypt the encrypted data with the key. And now we print. And we need to decode this because it's going to be returned as a, an array of bytes. And uh, we want to ignore the errors. And now, if we've done everything correctly, here, that's actually plain text. 
So that's been decrypted. And as we saw from the functionality, this is the first part of the blockchain. This is our flag that I'm going to copy. And then it's followed by the remaining blockchain, which we don't really care about. We can submit the flag and there we have it. If you've enjoyed this, make sure to hit the like button. If you'd like to get notified in the future whenever I post new solves, make sure to hit that subscribe button. In any case, I will see you on the next one. Bye bye.